You've definitely heard of the Terracotta Army, but do you know how it was discovered? In 1974, Shanxi Province suffered from a severe drought, prompting the village head to organize villagers for well digging efforts. Three farmers were assigned to a team to dig at this specific location in the hope of finding water, as advanced equipment for detecting underground water sources was not available at that time. The leader of the group was an elderly man named Yang. Using his smoking pipe as a makeshift tool, Yang casually drew a circle on the ground and suggested that they dig there, speculating that they might find water. The reason behind his intuition was the presence of a flourishing persimmon tree in that area, indicating a potential water source beneath. The three men began digging, and at a depth of less than five meters, Yang felt something solid and took a brave leap into the well. He uncovered a terracotta head resembling a human figure after clearing the soil. This terracotta fragment was brought to the surface, and upon seeing it, the other two companions exclaimed in astonishment, then fled the scene. Initially, they thought it was a human head which terrified them. However, upon realizing it was a terracotta head, the farmers still believed Yang had uncovered the deity's head, fearing divine consequences. Panicked, they fled, exclaiming, Oh my god, Yang, you've dug up the deity's head. The villagers at that time didn't have much education. Some villagers suggested taking the clay head back home and placing it on their household altar because nobody wanted to take the risk to offend the gods. The clay head still had colors like black hair, a pink face, and black eyeballs revealing the terracotta army. Yang, having military experience and was educated, stayed calm, realizing this was unusual. So, he chose to take the dug-up clay pieces to the Cultural Museum in Lintong County. Upon receiving the fragments, the museum director, Zhao Kangming, recognized the significance of the discovery and spent three months meticulously piecing together the terracotta fragments to reconstruct the image of a warrior. The news of the discovery spread rapidly, and archaeologists were dispatched to excavate the site, revealing an astonishing find of 2,000 terracotta warriors and horses. The entire area of Pit 1 reached 14,260 square meters, equivalent to two and a half football fields of standard size in Macau. But that's not all. After the completion of Pit 1 in 1979, the archaeologists subsequently discovered Pit 2 next to Pit 1, and behind Pit 2, the archaeologists found Pit 3. The terracotta warriors and horses were discovered in 1974, and by 1979, the museum was already built, with Pit 1 open to the public. At that time, special recognition and a cash reward were given to the person who discovered them, Yang. How much do you think should be rewarded to him? Many might assume a substantial reward, maybe even millions. However, in the 1970s, China wasn't very affluent. Having 10,000 yuan was considered wealthy, roughly equivalent to a million dollars in purchasing power today. So, Yang was actually rewarded with a total of 30 yuan. It might seem small now, but back then, it was equivalent to two months' salary for an ordinary worker. Yang, a lifelong farmer, had never seen so much money in his entire life. It was still considering substantial amount to him. Feeling unsettled about it, he discussed it with his wife, and they decided to donate the money to their production team. This simple and humble man essentially reported this significant discovery to the country for free. As of now, Yang is still alive, he is over 80 years old. Due to his outstanding contribution, he was honored as the Honorary Director of the Terracotta Army Museum after its construction.